We will now repeat the exercise using a locked suture. Again, we will ask the assistant to follow, but on this occasion, we will ask the assistant to help with locking by allowing the needle to pass through the suture loop of the previous throw in a similar exercise to knitting. The assistant should be careful where he or she places his hands when following. The assistant's hand should never pass into the field of view as this obstructs the surgeon and may lead to mistakes. The assistant should always concentrate. Sometimes suture material gets caught. The assistant should look out for this and ensure that this does not happen. A locked suture line looks prettier than an unlocked one. However, it does use more suture material. There are many arguments for the use of locked continuous sutures. Some people say it is more hemostatic. Others say that it results in less shortening of an incision. However, there is little evidence in the literature to support any of these suggestions. To thinnest this suture, we will tie an Aberdeen knot. This involves looping a loop through the end of the suture many times. On the final throw, the needle is passed through the final loop. Practice this knot when practicing a continuous suture.